Introducing RFID adapter cape on the Beagle Bone Black. We had many RFID readers to choose from. We decided to go with TI's TRF 7970A target board since TI has been a leader in RFID technology for two decades. This board supports many protocols including ISO 15693, Felica, etc. It also supports writing to RFID tags, near field communication, peer to peer mode, and card emulation as well. This RFID adapter board has three status LEDs, a power LED, and a spot for an optional push button, and these two headers for the TRF 7970A target board, which allows you to easily plug it into the board, like so. Many devices have RFID or NFC technologies in them. Items such as your cell phone, your credit card, as well as your security badge. Inside them are these RFID tags. Each of these tags contain a unique identifier, or UID. It is a long sequence of numbers that is different within each tag. This uniqueness allows RFID to be in plenty of applications, such as mobile payment, asset tracking, as well as security access control. To better demonstrate, we have three playing cards. At the back of each of these cards are RFID tags. Each RFID tag's unique identifier, or UID, is pre-programmed in our application so that it knows which card is matched with which UID. So let's run this program. Here's a joker. The king. And we have the queen. You can even try your own ID, uh, TI badge, and there's my UID in my badge. The RSSI indicates the signal strength that the antenna receives, so the higher, the better. Here's another example how RFID tape can be used with BeagleBone Black. Here we have the Logitech C920 webcam. It's a high-definition webcam, can capture up to 1080p video. And what we are going to do is we will have, when we scan our RFID card, it will start a video stream to simulate security control. And you can only see the security uh, screenshot, security screen by typing an RFID card. So, let's get started. I wrote a script. It's still called RFID. And uh, when it's running, we will, it will recognize my particular ID card. You see that? It, once it's, it recognizes me, it's starting a video stream. And, I'm, and this video stream is captured through Ethernet cable and sent to the, my computer. And you can see it's taking a little time to load because it's live streamed video. Let's give it a minute. You can see it's a full screen. It's a 1080p live stream. I can make it a little bit smaller. And you can see how when I sh move the camera, it will, it will move. And the good thing about this is Beagle Black is so powerful, along with C920, uh, Logitech C920, you can see it's hardly using any mem uh, CPU. It's only using 11 to 12% of the CPU. So, let us know what you can do with your C920.